Even before her husband's cancer diagnosis, the queen was more than capable of handling all of the responsibilities that come with being the queen and head of state. The lack of assistance from other members of the royal family has made the queen's workload too much for her to manage, especially considering her advanced age and physical condition. There is too much public and official pressure on the queen, and she is sick of it. Plus, she wants out of her responsibilities. The queen already has a lot on her plate taking care of the monarch, and his condition is supposedly becoming worse by the day. Along with the king and queen, the queen attempted to disclose some delicate details about the king's health with her actions. In light of the monarch's apparent health, the fact that the queen was able to take a vacation despite his illness, suggests that his condition is not as serious as it seems. Having said that, it's a little strange to go on a tropical vacation by yourself when your partner is at home getting cancer treatment. The British public has taken note of this, and many of them will have dealt with similar situations in the past. On the other hand, the Queen deserves a break as well. She has taken on a lot in a short amount of time. What with taking on the responsibilities of her husband, and adding them to her own, all while caring for the monarch. It would be premature to assume anything about the queen's motivations for stepping away from her responsibilities as head of state and caregiver to her husband, the monarch. A great deal has transpired in the royal palace, since the monarch has been down. A trove of jewels formerly owned by the queen, valued at 80 million pounds, has recently come to light. This little getaway will help the queen a great deal, and maybe take her mind off of everything that's been going on in the castle. If you enjoyed this and want to see more content like this, subscribe and enable notifications. Catch you later.